drop a link on y'all's. Uh, yeah, two things that are two things on the memes of the day. Um, the 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 sweep the leg um, showed up like yesterday in my world, and uh, it's some it's it's like a guilty confession. Okay, it's something I have felt for a long time. To be really honest, you know, you just have this, uh, you know, when the children are running crazy in a restaurant, like, I don't know, what are you, some of you are like, well, that's my kid. Well, fine. I, you know, I guess I'm talking to you now. But no, what are you thinking, right? Everybody else did not come and pay the money to have a night out to have somebody's child. I mean, I, I raised a bunch of kids, you know, uh, back in my day. Okay, boomer. Um, no, you know what I mean. Anyway, so that one just, that's just a social statement that I have felt I needed to make. The other one is we've talked so much about politics that this was my, uh, I posted that last election, last couple elections, right? The, uh, the I vomited. I try to vote. I haven't gotten so cynical that I don't vote, but I have gotten more creative in my voting. So... Alrighty, um, it is, uh, this is the last, this is the last class period for, uh, technically there's, you know, one more 305G if we wanted it next Tuesday, but we, as we have already dis discovered, are going to roll next Tuesday at Nikos. So I posted the announcements. I don't think there's any other announcements to post. Um, I'm going to roll through, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to, let's see. There are some things that are due the last day of the semester, which would be Wednesday night at midnight. So I'm going to let it roll just to be fair to you. What I'd really love to do is make it all do like, you know, right this moment. And then right after class, I would just get all the grading done. But, you know, while the semester is rolling, I think it's fair, you know, for, for you guys to have the means. So I'm just going to go, though, till the last day of class. Everything has to be in by the last day of class. If you've done, you know, any of the posts, you can resubmit and try to up your grade. I'll take a crack at. Uh, so as soon as we're out of uh, Wednesday's the 27th, right? Yeah. Because yesterday was the 20th. Um, so on Wednesday the 27th after midnight. So when Thursday pops up. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to get all the grading done. And I'll have grades for this class submitted. Hopefully within you know 24 hours. Get that all pulled together. And I'll get everything caught up sort of now-ish. Today, tomorrow. I'll get all the all, everything caught up. So you know where you're at kind of right now. I would recommend you not trust Canvas as a general rule. Their, their algorithms are sometimes stupid and goofy. Um, like, for example, if I don't remember to um, put a note in the thing or to change a setting, then if you didn't submit something, Canvas is default. You, like if you've got 10 assignments and you've done one and you got 100% and, it's, and now nine of them are due, and you haven't done any more since the first one, Canvas will go, you're getting an A. And then you'll come to me and go, Canvas said I was getting an A. You know, it's like Google told me to drive off a cliff. Like, well, there's an automated system and then there's your own brain and your own accountability and responsibility. Look at it yourself. Does it pass the smell test? You know what I mean? And I've literally, I've literally had students be like, well, I thought I was okay because Canvas said I was okay. You submitted like one out of 10 assignments and Canvas is stupid. So, you know, Google told you to drive off a cliff. Don't drive off a cliff just because Google said so. So do double check it yourself. Okay. Um, I will be, since this is my last semester, as you all know, um, I will be uh, incredibly generous with um deadlines and stuff you know just do your best get stuff in we're all coming out of covid ish you know cdc removed the mask mandate on airplanes i'm really to me that's uh it's like that snl skit that i gave you the link to right 
Um, that to me is not about being pro-vax, anti-vax, what have you. That's just about stupidness, right? You've got half the entire plane masks off eating at any given moment. And then the other half, the other time to me, even statistically, it, you know, it doesn't work. Doesn't, the math doesn't work for me, you know, uh, if that makes sense. By the way, those that are like, I can still get COVID with a mask. Yeah, it's stats. Yes, you can, but your chances are reduced. That's all it's about is reduction of probability. Same with vaccinations, same with social distancing, same with everything. You do it all to pile on, you know, different different things and to reduce the statistical probabilities that you're going to contract something. Or if you do contract it, that you're going to suffer a lot for it, et cetera, et cetera. It's about stats. And the sad truth, and I hope you pay attention in your stats class, the sad truth is that most people in the general population, when it comes to stats, are idiots that just don't understand fundamental statistics and statistical reasoning. But everybody gets to vote. Hence, where is it? <laughs> you see it. Hence, I vomited. <clears throat> okay. And that's why we can't have nice things. All right. Is there any last housekeeping? I need to send a note. I'll send an announcement that all assignments do midnight at, um, that's Wednesday, the 27th. And there are, unless you have specifically um, talk to me about something, there aren't exceptions to that. Um, even if you have it, there might not be. Um, but <laughs> all right, hey, who, who posted that game? <laughs> nice. Um, okay, everybody cool with that? And the reason is because just the policy that we don't have assignments due during finals week, which then gets in the way of working your finals. So I think you know the drill. All righty, amigos. Amigos y amigas. Vámonos. Anything else? Talk to me. Any other, any other uh, dynamics we have to be talking about? Any housekeeping? You're silent today. You're very quiet. We're all very pensive. We're all mourning. We're mourning the loss of our regular Tuesday, Thursday um, jocularity with Dr. K. Um, it has gotten so good, though, that I've taken to showing some of the uh, interactions and things that you guys produce with my wife, who thinks you're hilarious. So, when I do, too. So... All righty. Let me see. Last day. Last day for us. Hope you're all like killing it on your classes or at least not getting killed on your classes. Yeah, Sam said, I just said, I just want the semester to be over. Amen to that, man. Amen to that. I think we all need it. Okay. You know, if we didn't have spring break, it would already be over. Brandon, is that, that's not 2810, right? Is that a later one? Or is that 2810 you're talking about? Yeah, 2810. By the way, if anybody's having struggles with 2810, you do know I taught that for a number of years, kind of designed the course the way it is right now. And I have all of my old lectures for 2810 on YouTube on the same channel. If you want to go bop around and just, you know, where I've explained some of the stuff, if that's helpful. Um, so bop in. Okay, here's what we're doing. Today, we're going to do literary extravaganza. And then we're going to call it... Um, 
Okay, Sam, yeah, that final project. Yeah. Now, Steve, don't go now. We need you. We need you in the chat. Um, all right. Here's the way this thing worked. Um, I went through all of the assignments, did a little bit of extra regrade. There were some that, uh, you, you know, the assignment as you guys have got to read the damned assignment. Got to read it. Read it. It says two submissions, two points each. Some of you only submitted one thing. But then you get half the points, you know? Come on, man. You got to help yourself. I can't help you if you're not helping yourself. Um, I'm being pretty lax. So, Sab, if you can't read hypothetically, then there's some other work you need to do before college, before jumping back into the college mix. Okay. Let's hit this thing. So, what I did was, all I did was I just grabbed the submissions that I liked. It's not fair. It is subjective. Oh, 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 one, one thing that's kind of important, and I didn't really do this earlier, <clears throat> um, which is if you would prefer that I not... Now, by the way, when I share the literary extravaganzas, I attribute a first name, for, as we've been doing all semester, just first names only, okay? If you would really rather, two things. One is, I'm okay. Uh, I'm going to do it as a survey just to get your attention since everyone's kind of kind of, kind of quiet. I think we're all in mourning at the loss of our regular therapy session. Um, survey. I would... What's the, what should we say here? I would rather you not use my submission. No, let me do it this way. I'm okay with you using my submission. Yes, no. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. Second survey. First survey is, I'm okay with you using my submission. Yes, no. That doesn't mean it's in. It may not have made the cut, okay? And what I'm talking about, this, I'm, all I'm going to do is when I show the slides, I'm going to walk through the literary extravaganzas and show people's actual, like, limericks and haikus, only identified by first name. Okay, so if you're like, no, I'm not okay with you using my submission, then you got to identify yourself. And and in class, I'm not worried about it, because um, normally what we do is in class, just you know, have you raise your hand and let's let's see it and celebrate the effort. And I tried to call out any you know that are that are a little more embarrassing, you know, that are really not that great. No offense if yours didn't make the cut, but I tried to pick the best ones that I liked, right? And then we give a golf clap for everybody, you know. And uh, <clears throat> so if it's like, I would really rather, like, you can use my submission and post it, you know, because the thing is, it's going to go on YouTube. The chat here is invitation only, but YouTube, anybody can see it. That's really all I'm trying to con be concerned about. And then I can actually look here, um, like Matt... Let me look and see, Matt, if any of yours made the cut. That's the other thing is you might not have actually made the cut. And then it's uh, and then it's sort of like not a problem. Matt, you're safe. Um, yeah, you're safe either way. Okay, cool, cool. Um, and for most of you that you know, there's very there's never been a person in the history of doing I've been doing the literary extravaganza off and on at BYU and here for like 15 years. And I've never, ever had anybody be like, I'm all butthurt because you didn't use my crappy poem. Everyone's like, oh, thank goodness he didn't use my crappy poem. You know, it's it's not normal that people are offended that they didn't get airtime 
when when what they've produced is not the so great. So I think you know, I think you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> All right, Frozen. Um, yeah, Dave, I don't know if you made the cut either, man, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> okay, let's get going. No, it's fair enough. Is that a Happy Gilmore meme? Is that is that from Happy Gilmore? Uh, yeah, I don't have any. I think it might be Happy Gilmore. Okay, all right, here we go. Here we go. So, first category. Now, by the way, what we'd like to do, and this is partially for the YouTube thing, we'll do a we'll do a full category, and then when we're done, we just take a second, thirty seconds, we unmute. Everybody unmutes, and then we do a golf clap. Then we remute, and then do the next section. Okay. So just so you're ready with all of that's your class participation. Okay. Now limericks. Let's talk about limericks. I made the assertion that you guys, as a general demographic population, whatever you want to call CS undergrads, as a general rule cannot do limericks i think i may be even through the gauntlet down right um yeah re, yeah dave enthusiastic reaction in chat is just fine uh obviously do the best you can but um you guys as a general rule as i've said you guys tend to suck at limericks now there were actually two people now you got to understand in an average semester in an av in my experience in an average semester, I will usually drag at least the best one limerick. I will cringe my way through it and point out how you guys have like no sense of rhythm or something. I don't know what your problem is, but it is a problem. And But this semester was a little unusual, and I didn't have to drag pieces of doggy doo-doo in the name of limericks out there were three limericks from two limerick writers that actually made the cut okay and you're like you're going i just know it's me i just know it's me there weren't that many that attempted limericks but most of them weren't that great and the number one thing about a limerick is the cadence that's the thing about a limerick and you can write a limerick without being obscene dave um, it's a long-standing tradition uh, of limericks, right? We should have a competition of um, we oh, wait, Steve demands. Um, okay, I, I'm going to give you just the first line of, a, of an obscene limerick without completing it, and you may not take a, you may not take a stab at it. Okay. And I, you just see exactly where this is going. Okay. I mean, do you see, do you see, I'm not even going to say that on YouTube. <laughs> this is my, this is my childhood. Okay. No, you know, exactly, Dave. Yes. Yes. There once was a teacher named Chuck. No, see, you, um, you know, whose lecture style tended to suck. You know what I mean? You, you just sort of like, you just go. Um, <laughs> you guys <laughs> keep it going, baby. Keep it going, Dave. <laughs> oh my gosh, you gonna finish this thing, Dave? Come on, man. We only need one line, but still, they were all out of luck. Dave, how about that? No, Steve, this is why yours didn't get in, man. Um, <laughs> I like, Dave, I like yours better than mine. I was going for something, despite ch starting with Chuck as your core rhyming for three of the five, I was going to try to still keep it clean down the stretch. Okay, but you got the idea, but generally your limericks do suck. But here's a couple that didn't suck. Okay, the first one was Tyler. Okay, I'm going to give it a roll on reading this. 
Uh, once I was mindlessly scrolling while another was viciously trolling. See how there's a rhythm you can find the rhythm in it, the cadence. I was looking for fluff, but got sick of his stuff. Now I am going, now I am going to start coding. It's pretty dang close to uh, a, a nice, perfect sort of rhythm. All right, that's Tyler. And then the other one was Hunter. Uh, there once, and also, by the way, okay, kudos to, kudos to Hunter because the classic limerick always goes, there once was a something, you know, named something, right? There once was a teacher named Chuck. There once was a man from, you know, wherever. Uh, and that's the classic intro to limericks is there once was. There once was a coder named Bentley who wrote all his code in assembly. Kudos, that's a, that's almost an Eminem style uh, rhyme there. Uh, you know, Eminem doesn't need much to rhyme. Um, but there once was a coder named Bentley who wrote all his code in assembly. The thing is that the cadence naturally flows and matches. And built his own cars from his bare hands with scars. He really thinks rather quite densely. It doesn't, It so I got to say this, Hunter. Kudos for the for the rhythm, the cadence. It doesn't give me a real punchy conclusion, you know, but anyway, so my wife has a, has a cheap Honda that she calls Bentley. I'm like, you realize there is a car called Bentley, right? And she's like, yeah. Okay. And then the other one was Hunter again. This one was much more germane to the class. My Facebook is nothing but garbage. It's full of dilemmas and carnage. I post my opinion. It's seen by one billion, and now my good name has been tarnished. It is That is flawless cadence. That is flawless cadence for a limerick. And that is it. So if everybody would please, for the, for the limerick attempters, those that made the cut and those that didn't, uh, could we... Um, I'm just going to back it up and let, leave it on this one. Can we just unmute everybody and just give us a nice golf clap? It's pretty, it's a cool effect. With everybody. There we go. Right. That was weak. That was freaking weak sauce, but it works better in class. No, it's too late. It's too late. All right. Isley, thank you. Um, no, okay, Matt said coding assembly is like building cars with your hands. That's true. That's fair. That's fair. Golf claps are weak. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that's the limericks. Okay, you ready for haikus? Now, here's the thing about a haiku. You know the rule of a haiku, right? Five, seven, five on the syllables. And um, ideally, the haiku sets up for this kind of Zen moment conclusion, this, this sort of balancing of the forces and, and, you know, it, it's meant to be sort of reflective, not just any five syllables, then any seven, then any five. We'll give them a shot. Again, if yours didn't make the cut and you're upset about that, just blame me because I'm the guy who, who decided what made the cut and what didn't. But here we go. We got, um, we got, we got for your pleasure here. Um, what do we got? 12? Yeah, we got 12 haikus that made the cut. <laughs> Varying, your mileage may vary. Okay, let's give it a shot. Michael, we make an escape from a digital prison to the great outdoors. See that? I like this one. I like that one, Michael. Um, it has a certain movement, a little bit of an evolution, a sort of a transition, right? Yeah, I like it. I like that one quite a bit. Sam, this one, a lot of, this is inside joke referential. Where should I go eat? Hi, welcome to Taco Hell. Oh, what have I done? Yeah, it it's... Uh, there has to be at least some references to Taco Hell, right? Somewhere. So kudos to Sam for referencing Taco Hell. The Cinnabon bites, though. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Those are the way to go. And you can only get them at Taco Hell. Okay. Good, good job, Sam. Jesse, division, this one, yeah, again, I was looking for ones that referenced the material of the class more. Division is through us. Media fights and canceling ideas, solid ground can be found. You don't have to rhyme that last line, by the way, but it happens to. But that's not bad. Not bad, Jesse, I think. Next one, Elliot. But this one... Okay, material night, a large computer buzzing at the perfect desk. To me, this one, I don't know what it means. Elliot, if you want to, like, defend yourself or jump in at all. Um, but but this one, I thought, just had a kind of a poetry to it in the sense of poetic language, like at the perfect desk. What does it mean? Material night, what does it mean? You know what I mean? It, that aspect of it, I thought, was was really nice, Was was quite nice and kind of cool. So, Elliot, you don't have to. I don't know if you're even here. But if you are here um, and you want to jump in, say anything, that would be great. But I, I like that. I like that imagery. Next one. Cash. Out in the distance comes a hero to my aid through the pitch black night. Okay. This one, I don't know if this had anything at all to do. Or I was, okay. So I had a question, Cash, if you were here. Um, did this have to do with the squirrel in the airplane? Remember the squirrel in the airplane meme? How many remember the squirrel? Okay, hang on. I'm just curious. No, you weren't thinking of that. Okay. I was. Um, hang on, though. Hang on. Because I got I to gotta show you what I'm talking about. And come on. Here, I'll fire this up and show you what I'm talking about. And I thought that maybe, just maybe, right? So if you throw these together, what do you think, guys? <laughs> Cash? It works, right? Doesn't that kind of work? The meme. And I, could, I dropped this meme on you, I think, earlier in the semester. We're just doing a little tag team here. We're doing a little little partnership, a little pair. little pair. Uh, I'll hail the savior squirrel. Yes, Sam. No, we're just doing a little bit of uh, pair, pair haiku writing. It works to me. Okay. Enough of the squirrel. I love this one, by the way. I, I really, really, you swerve to avoid a squirrel. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Next one was David. We got a couple David Daves. So I don't know which one this is. Uh, this one, by the way, I was intrigued about. Okay, I'll read it. Uh, break bureaucracy. Things happen in the gray. The lines must serve us. I was just curious, Dave, if, if you had any, and again, I don't know which Dave that was, and I could look back, but I don't remember. I don't know. Was that you, Dave? Yeah. I don't know. Anything else you want to say? I, I, I liked it. I mean, one of the things that I pitched real hard during the semester was the whole gray zone, you know, that we live in, a, in, in gray zones. You know what I mean? So is this maybe about the idea that we draw, you know, with these lines that, that divide us, you know, for example, instead of understanding that, that realities tend to fall in a gray zone and all the social media crap that we've kind of been, we've allowed to sort of like, it keeps serving up what we want to hear, making us more and more siloed, you know? I don't know. Is that kind of the gist of it? <laughs> Second. It does have only six. I take it back. Dave's haiku has now been banned from the competition. Okay, let's keep going. Andrew, the laptop fans whirl, moving at frightening speeds to release some heat. This one, my first reaction of this one, by the way, was kind of like it, it didn't feel initially like super 
Zen-ish. Then I realized that it had a certain kind of poetic component, and it certainly was on topic. So good job, Andrew. Micah, this one, I have to say, um, Hunter won the limericks with that last one with Perfect Cadence. I think Micah maybe wins the haikus with this one. Watching the world burn, I simply sit here waiting, toasting marshmallows. This, I thought, I think Micah, let's just call it at least uh, the midpoint lead on, on haikus. Because I thought this one was tremendous. And I'm, you know, kind of key voter here, I guess, right? Um, oh, Dave says, if you're breaking convention, should you follow syllabic convention? That is a great, great point. Okay, anyway, other comments? Do you guys agree with this about Micah's poem here, this, this haiku? I think it's tremendous. Um, what's up next? Again, Micah. Just ones and zeros, strange to suffer so much fear over such small things. This I really love. Okay, so I have to say that I try generally not to grab two things from the same person. Um, but I have to say, Micah, that those last two, to me, uh, and this one in particular, I thought, even had a denser level of poetic expression and was also spot on terms of, you know, our world of ones and zeros, right? Um, so I, I think I, I think I can probably declare the, the winner. The winner of the haikus, I think, is Micah. Uh, the reward is pizza at Nico's next Tuesday. Um, Gavin, lines and lines of code, projects, homework completed. What is it all for? The It's good. This is a good one. It's certainly related to the to what you guys are going through. Okay, Mac, this one I thought was interesting because I thought, I didn't know if you, okay, Mac, speak for yourself here, but I didn't know if you were like talking specifically about mask mandates or generally, if you don't mind piping in, a mask can change you, make you feel like anyone, anyone but you. It's, it's kind of deep. It's kind of cool. And I thought in light of the, in light of the mask mandate, you know, I don't know if that was the gist of it. If you want to pipe up, please do if you're here. Spencer, I liked this one a lot as the social media thing. An algorithm made entirely for your feed. It knows who you are. I liked this one a lot, uh, uh, a great deal. Um, to me, it was shades of um, the social dilemma, right? Okay, how many more do I have here? That's the last one. Yeah, so Micah, um, you have absolutely demolished the competition in the haiku. Okay, um, I really do think that that was tremendous. So can we, I want to try this one more time. Can we unmute, unmute and try the golf clap again? But you got to wait till I say go. So we get the sounds kind of all coming through. Everybody unmute. I know Isley and Dave and goes in remote, but are we mostly unmuted? Nice, Matt. Okay, let's do it. Ready? <laughs> okay, mute yourselves back up. Um, yeah. All right. So good effort. These are kind of cool, right? Other poems. Now, by the way. There's only one category. The, the winner in this one was Braden in this category of other poems because I think this was the only, no, nah, there were like maybe two other, no, nah, there were only one or two. Give this one a look and I'll tell you the parts that I liked about it. It's long enough that I won't read it start to finish. Um, but I, I thought it was bold. You know, it was bold to take on an entire poem. Um you know, this idea that that we can look things up instantly and so we don't, we lose track of the idea of interaction, right? Crawling to those we're comfortable with, that idea of, of stovepipe, you know, sort of uh, affirmation. Um, let me see. Uh, 
I think it's the ones and zeros. We lose the humanity. Those highs and lows lose the highs and lows. I just love this. I love this a lot, Braden. Um, yeah, the knowledge is at the fingertips, but the person behind it isn't. I thought, okay, so Braden, I thought this was gutsy for start, for starters to just do a full poem when you could just mail in a haiku like all your classmates. You know what I mean? It, there was This was a submit and get all the points kind of exercise. You didn't have to invest, you know, the time to really go through it. So I really, really, really like that. Um, um, all right. So should we go digital claps? Digital claps for, uh, for Braden. Um, now, interestingly, very short stories. Oh, you thought you were being lazy, Braden. <laughs> well, I, I thought it was a good effort in the end. Okay, now, very short stories. Now, we did do a section at the beginning of class where we wrote very short stories, you know. So I just, but I just wanted to open that back up to be, to be creative, to do one more shot at that kind of a venue. Um, there were a few submissions in this category. Let me see exactly. Exactly five, four that made the cut on very short stories. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. Is this, hang on, hang on. I just want to mid, mid, uh, I'm dropping a survey. It says mid extravaganza survey. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this at least a little. Yes, no. Um, I am. I always do uh, enjoy this process. And, and again, as always, as per usual, if you disagree and this sucks, just that's fine. Either don't vote. Say no. It's okay. It's okay. You may just be having a hard day. Okay, here we go. Very short stories. We're gonna read these now. The first one is Jacob. And I think that Jacob takes an early lead here, right? You aren't one of those anti-vaxxers, right? He eyed me cautiously. Of course not, I exclaimed. Some months ago, I found a bunch of guys doing vaccinations under an overpass. I keep going back for boosters every week. Okay. I, Jacob, I think that's brilliant. I, I think it's, um, you know, my wife and I went through a uh, lot of discussions about vaccinations and boosters. And eventually um, she's less inclined toward that kind of thing. There's not an anti-vaxxer, but less inclined than I am. But at the end of the day, we wanted to go to Italy in December and that was one of the prices of admission. So we, we definitely bit the bullet, but I actually, so Jacob, I literally sent this to my wife today over messenger to just say, this is from one of my students and it just absolutely cracked me up. And I think it, it's like shades of the SNL skit as well, don't you think? You know what I mean? Where where it's like it takes on this. It's not just about health. It takes on a cultural, you know, what if instead of it being virtue signaling to be to be vaccinated, which it is at some level, right? I think you have to admit that it's virtue signaling at some level to be vaccinated. And can we also say, you know where I'm going, right? It's also virtue signaling at some other level to a different group of people to not be vaccinated and to crow about either one. The the people I think at either side who are crowing about being vaccinated or crowing about not being vaccinated, I think both of them are virtue signaling to some extent. You know, I and you don't have to agree with that. I, I you know me, right? I mean, I really am not offended by different different opinions. And feel free to call me out on that. But um, anyway, Jacob, I thought this was fantastic. I really, really liked it. And this one also. So Jacob is like going hard after um, the the <laughs> the dicey the dicey topics. The the sort of you know cancel me. So yeah, I'm not such a fan of climate preservation, Jeff type. I wouldn't have to drive so far to the beach if the oceans keep rising. My grandpa was killed by a wild polar bear and only hippies believe that Lorax crap. And then, oops, I meant to put this on Reddit, not Twitter. <laughs> um, was that a meme? 
did you rip that off, Jacob? Because you've just been outed if you did. I don't know, Dave. Go give give a look. And if so, I'll just delete that's out of the competition. But I thought it was quite good. I thought it was good. I hope it wasn't, Jake. Oh, no. It came from your blog? No, that's okay. Yeah. Anyway, if it is, let's do this because I really don't believe in public shame. If, um, yeah, if Dave, Dave makes a meme, <laughs> here's what happens. Dave makes a meme and then claims, and then claims that, uh, that Jake, re that Jake stole it. Um, no, but actually, no, I, I believe him too, but it actually could be cool though. Dave, Dave is the meme meister, as we all know, um, to, to turn that into a meme, you know what I mean? And give a little credit to Jake and, and collaborate. I'll, I'll drop it into my thing and see how far it goes. If you guys want to make a meme out of that, I think it's brilliant. Honestly, again, if you plagiarized it, Jake, then may God have mercy on your soul. But assuming you didn't, you know, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying, I think this is really brilliant. I really, really do. So I think, uh, and this, the previous one as well, um, a little tweakage maybe for size, whatever. Yeah, fair use, Dave. That's it. Okay, next one. Elena, this one was um, uh, shorter, much shorter. But I thought it was, uh, at first I was, I was tempted not to include it. I realized it was so spot on topically. So if you think your identity is truly hidden, nobody has really tried to figure it out. You know, it's a sort of a security by obscurity. If anybody really wants to own you, they kind of can. So. No, Dave, seriously, though. Okay, next one. Gavin, this is, I think, the last one. Yeah, this is the last one. Gavin, as the hot summer days approached, bringing with them a sense of freedom, adventure, and relaxation, he sat at his desk studying away, longing for the day when finals and homework were a thing of the past. I thought this was great. Now, by the way, Gavin, you may notice that I did some editing for punctuation and capitalization. I did edit it into a less punctuationally flawed form. Okay. I did this as a service. Um, but yeah. Okay. No, that's it. That's it for the uh, very short stories. I think we got to go. Jake, Jake's got to be the winner on uh on the very short stories i thought both of them were bringing some serious heat so i'm going to just do my own golf clap here for everybody now what i did was i did where am i that's everybody that those are all the ones from this semester from this group what remains uh for another 17 slides is greatest hits from past semesters. Some of these go all the way back to my time at BYU. Some of these go back to the last three years at UVU. Okay. But I think, so these are supposed to be some of the best of all time. Some of them are referential to the class. Some of them are not, but check it out. There's this one, this Boromir. Now, in some days past, I have been much, much harder on the grading on the blog posts. Dave, you're a freaking genius. Wait, what? What did you, what are you saying, Steve? It's from Dave Sr. What it means. Oh, Beer Bormir. No, no, it can't be. No, it's not old enough unless no that it doesn't work. Are you saying it's from Dave's it's from Dave's dad, Steve? That does the timing doesn't work. How old do you think I am? I like Daniel am confusion. Daniel and I are confusion. No, it doesn't work. The math doesn't work, Steve. Sorry, man. 
<laughs> but I did like it a lot. One does not simply get a five on a blog post. Okay. Oh, Dave from an older. Oh, I see. No, no, but see, Mark, Mark doesn't work. Okay. Now this one did not come from a class, but was revealed to me in a previous semester. It's a mathematical equation that you can read like a limerick. I'm going to, I'm going to hit you with it. Like a limerick. I didn't say it properly. Integral Z squared DZ from one to the cube root of three times the cosine of three pi over nine is the log of the cube root of E. That's genius. Uh, that's an oldie, but goodie just kind of out there in the interwebs. I do not know. Who, uh, who created it. Here's another one. Again, these don't, these, some of the ones that hit right now, I think are, are better as good or better than these, but the world is growing and more connected yet further apart. I like that one a lot by ancient Robert. Ryan, always listening, invading our privacy, keeping us secure. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Okay. Deals with that whole trade-off between security and privacy. Are you willing to get to let go of your privacy to be more secure? And then when you reach a point where you wish you had your privacy back, because I'll give you an example. Let's take Russia, for example, right? Um, which supposedly was no longer communist, was a Republican, you know, democratic uh, form of government, you know, elected officials, blah, blah, blah. And then suddenly when you don't, when you wish you would, when you wish you, when you reach the point where you wish you had your privacy back, it's not going to be because the world is secure. That's the, that's the devil's bargain. But I like this one a lot by Ryan. Greg nailed, remember the, remember the intellectual property discussion? That's my idea. I was first to use linked lists. I'll see you in court. Like that one, the referential back to our discussion about intellectual property. Peter, I like this one, never talks to me, but thumbs up every status, my Facebook stalker. I like that a lot. Of course I did. I included it in the greatest hits of past semesters. Very short story. Nathan, they told us that we were nerds who didn't have friends, and then they gave us coding projects until it became true. Daniel, do it. Get the tattoo, man. Get the math limerick tattoo. But then you have to memorize it so when people ask you at the beach, you can, you know, make them go away. Maybe they can, they'll back away slowly. Okay. Pretty good, right, Nathans? Bracken. We met on Twitter, hashtag no love. I wooed her on MySpace. We dated on Facebook and married in World of Warcraft. I found her Flickr page. We broke up. Pretty good. This one's similar. These next couple are kind of similar vein. Walking through cyberspace, I bumped into a long lost friend. We laughed and cried, then disconnected, just like real life. Like that one a ton. Uh, Udip, I poke, she pokes, I request, she accepts. I like, she comments. We chat, we are in relationship. We break up, I delete, she blocks. This I think was friggin' genius. Feel free to drop any comments as they're coming. But this one also, this one was from last semester or the one before that. Anyway, last year anyway at UVU. Free will stopped existing the moment algorithms knew he wanted to watch a goat jumping on a trampoline before he did. Again, shades of the social dilemma, right? Wait, this goat one? You've seen this goat one, Andreval, in a meme? Find it. Find it and kick it to me. I can track down the uh, perpetrator. Oh, maybe I shared it in class. No, there were goats, but not this one. Not, I mean, Andreval, you're not saying that this text. No. No. Was it on my screen? Maybe I just shared it. I may have just shared it. Okay, see if we can find it. If it's actually on a meme, I don't know. 
Jared, I sit nervously and struggle to believe the girl of my dreams calling me. I can't mess this up. This is my one chance. Hello, this is IT. That's pretty good. There's some of these. These next couple are kind of in the rom romantic angst kind of thing. Um, this one was from last semester. I cancel you and you cancel me until we're all free with herd immunity. <laughs> this was like this was like this weird uh, blending of cancel culture and COVID. Um, ah, interesting. Okay. This one, oh, one of my all-time favorites by Krista. This, you know, topic, topic, how about women in computing? And interestingly, if you knew Krista, you would know that this looks like Krista. Um, and she built this thing herself. This I thought was, and really kind of like, ladies, ladies, are we, are we getting, you know, are we hitting close to home with what it feels like to be in the CS major? There's a lot of interesting things about that, which we didn't really get into, but but I think it's a relevant and important topic. This one was from last semester, which was that, remember the, Crinsley showed it, the, the uh, 1984 Apple commercial, right? With the girl running. Yeah. Um, except with Steve Jobs stuck, nice original artwork. That was pretty good. This one, got to take my jacket off because it's nice out, except for this. Well, by the way, by the way, while you're looking at this, oh, hang on a second. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Those, these are examples. Okay. No, there we go. There we go. Thanks, Micah. Yep. Okay. Now, this one absolutely cracked me up. Very CS, bits and bites, zig and zag through the intertubes. Where are they all going? Work, school, home. So many tubes, so many cats. Suddenly, DOS, denial of service. Get, 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 get. Uh, 503, service unavailable. It's all because of those damn cats on the intertubes. Yeah, Daniel. Okay, Daniel, um, I'm just going to throw this out there, see if we've got a match. But, oh, and I'm, I realized that, uh, uh, okay, Daniel, favorite predominantly visual poet. Let's throw that down, see what your reaction is. Uh, this, by the way, let me see. No. I just wanted to... That's the part that you can't see. And then that's the part that got cut off. So it goes bits and bites, zig and zag. Where are they all going? Where homeschool? So many cats. So many tubes. So many cats. Yeah, that's genius. Yeah, Daniel, curious. Favorite, favorite. Uh, there's, there's one that comes prominently to mind for me and one of my all-time favorite poets. If we're on the same page, it'll be very, very quick. Um, okay, next up. Oh, this one, this one. The problem is I can't play this and have it work unless I do something like play it on my phone and try to, you know, hold it up to the screen. I'm not sure the best way to do it. But I have a link to this on my YouTube channel. In fact, let me go get it. Oh, that's pretty cool, Daniel. I'm going to drop another one on you. E.E. E. Cummings. Check him out, Daniel. If you don't already know E.E. E. Cummings, prepare to explode your brain. So good. I've read I've read complete all of E. Cummings. Um, <clears throat> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop. This was something I did in a class. This was at BYU, um, where this was literary extravaganza about 15 years ago. That is Josh Dutton, 
Uh, he's a musical guy, performer, composer. He writes this song called The Programmer Blues. And when I'm going through everything, I notice that it's just a 12 bar blues key of what? C, nothing fancy, nothing schmancy. And um, so I just ask him, hey, what do you think about maybe doing the, the programmer blues um, in class and do it live? You know, you bring your you bring your harmonica, your blues harp. I will bring my guitar and then we'll just do it live. So I'm just scanning right now for the video so I can um, drop that on you. Come on. Sorry, just I should have had that ready. Okay, here we go. So we both threw the uh, sun, the shades on. Okay, I'm dropping this on you now. Oh, there we go. Tyler beat me to the punch. All right, thank you. Uh, let me see if that's exactly the same one. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Tyler. You can all just kind of watch that real quick if you want. But um, what's cool about this is, so uh, Josh wrote the song, um, and he had submitted the audio file. And I had basically just, you know, listened to it. It was like, no, I can play that. And um, it's say, essentially it's the same chord progression as the as uh, Steamroller Blues by James Taylor, and uh, which I knew how to play. But again, it's just kind of 12-bar blues, which is a pattern. But um, we never practiced it. This was the first time we did it was live right here. And a student didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, to capture the moment forever, but a student um, just was recording with their phone. And as long as we're at it, I want to just show you one other one other thing. I'll drop it in the chat. And just another gift, not a gif, but a gift. Um, so I mentioned uh, Josh, right? Me and Josh. So we actually did some things. And I just dropped a an audio. Yeah, it was a gift. Um, that's right, Micah. Uh, Josh was like one of the valedictorians of the class. And they asked him to do, he was, again, musical guy. And he wanted to do this thing called Asher Khan Farewell. He was a fiddle player. Josh is an everything player. He's in a band where he's a drummer in a certain band. Uh, I can't remember the name of him, but musically just kind of genius. And he said, basically, he just said, I will, um, I will do the song. They wanted him to do a song at commencement do a performance of a, of a musical number at commencement, which in the College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences at BYU, that, that ballroom was probably 3,000 people just in our, you know, little convocation, right, for our college. So with both of us in Josh in the graduation robes, me in the doctoral robes, um, we, we jumped up and we did – Asha Khan farewell in front of about 3,000 people. Josh on the fiddle, me on the guitar. And I just thought I'd share it. It's really relaxing. It's a beautiful number. There are other, you know, arrangements and, you know, versions of it, of Asha Khan farewell. But I really, really liked this one that Josh and I put together. The It was uh, really the only time we performed it was at that event. And then we found out later that somebody had, from the college, had been recording the entire convocation with some nice, you know, we were on nice mics and it was set up well and they just recorded it live and boom. And there it was. 
So um, <clears throat> anyway, give that a listen. And that's a, you can download the MP3. You can have it. You know, there's no, I mean, don't sell it for money. That, that would be our sort of purview if Josh and I ever wanted to try to, you know, send it someplace and monetize it. But yeah, fair use, Dave. Yeah, but no, you know what I'm saying? As long as you're not, you know, bundling it into your album and claiming you did it, you know, that would be not fair use. Proper attribution. And it's good to go, man. So, okay. That is the conclusion. Watch those on your own. Watch that one on your own when you get a chance. It's fun. Fun to do it in class. We threw the shades on. I just told him, bring, bring your sunglasses and we'll... uh you know, we'll get our shades on and, and do this thing with proper style. So, all right. So we have up to 10 minutes if we want to use it. But, um, oh, let me say one thing. SRIs, the university still uses them. I don't care because I quit, you know. We already know I quit. So it's not going to affect me one bit. Uh, it's still nice if if you liked what went on. It's still not, you know, I'll still get the SRIs and you know what I mean? I, you know, I, like I said, they don't really do much, but it, it's a nice stroke if you did, if you did a good job to get, you know, some, some acknowledgement back from people. But um, no, uh, so, I, you know, do it. But the university, the college, the department, they all use those to establish things like what's the standard. So for example, if there's somebody in the department that you really despise and you think they sucks, they sucks and you gave them a one and you want that to have maximum impact and you really like what's going on here and you give me whatever the a high score is, um, there it does affect the relative average, you know, that that allows the university to say this person is who's they're teaching is is at least at the very least, is ill-perceived by the student body. So do the SRIs. I don't care. You know what I mean? At a, at a deep level, it doesn't affect me, you know. But, but I'd still encourage you to do them, you know, just just because. Um, any last anythings that, that you guys have? I hope it's been good. I hope it's not felt like a waste of your time. My goal was to make you think. My goal was not to convert you to my way of thinking, you know? Oh, that painting, what is it? Who knows? I should have known. I have known. I'm, I'm blanking on the painting. I'm going to look real quick, um, Sam. I love that painting, and I'm a doof for not knowing. Let me see. No, let me see. The Chuck computer. Yeah, that's right, Andrew. Um, yeah, all right, radioactive. We only start asking about it now. No, no, I can tell you real quick. Um, I think. Hmm. I have known, put it that way. I have known. Is it called Nighthawk Frozen? Okay, Daniel, is that a true story? That there's no exit door? Yeah, there we go. Nighthawks. Nighthawks. I was just pulling up the... Uh, Should go away. Yeah. The 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 background, the actual name of the thing. Yeah. Nighthawks plural. There we go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, man. Um, okay, last questions. Any any last things you want to pester me with for the next couple minutes? Pizza on Tuesday. 
3.30 to 5 is pizza ordering time. Edward Hopper. That's right. That's right. That sounds right. Free pizza on the fourth floor of the CS building right now, says Matt, for the three people that are in the building. Okay. You guys got anything else? Because I'm fine to cut. Yeah, you're welcome, Dave. Thank. I want to just say thank you for the, your participation. Has been amazing, really, just tremendous. And I have really, really uh, appreciated it. It's made, you know, it's made the online thing, and with all the starting work at SoFi overlapping a little bit, it's been just so busy and crazy. So I really, really appreciate it. All right. Yep. Thanks, Daniel. Let me see, Brandon, Matt. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, man, Jay, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome, everybody. I, I appreciate uh, I appreciate the appreciation. It's why we do this thing, you know. It ain't for the money, I'll tell you that much. So, all right. I hope I cause you to think new thoughts, question a few things, you know, maybe learn a few things. But more than anything, to think some few new thoughts. So, all righty. I'm going to shut it down for the last time. And uh, be safe. Be good. Success in all your stuff. Love you guys. And uh, we'll see you at, uh, at Nikos on Tuesday. I hope you, for everybody that can make it. See you, everybody.